this is a 2012 Nissan Rogue, the same 2008-2012 is exactly the same it has a bunch of lights here in the instrument cluster the ABS light 4x4 mode also the traction control here lights are on the sunlight is uh, kind of on the way here right there so I'm gonna be replacing the sensor and the front driver side uh, ABS sensor also the wheel bearing will be replaced uh, the roto and also the brake pads no diagnosis in this case because uh, we know the ABS sensor is not good I put live data on the scanner and it's not working so I'm, I'll be replacing all these components and before starting this job I want to show the torque specification for all the bolts this is uh, how Nissan does it uh, Nissan doesn't do it individually but they uh, they just put a bolt here, the type of bolt, and this is the torque specification. Twenty one millimeter lug nuts. Cut up in here. Thirty two millimeter axle nut. Nineteen millimeter bolt here for the brake caliper bracket. See if I can make it with a top gun here. See the rotor here, it's all scratched very bad, really, really bad. This vehicle vibrates when they hit the brakes, the brake pedal. So it's a mechanic's responsibility to communicate this uh, when you see things like that. Uh, communicate this to the owner of the vehicle and uh, they decide what to do, if fix it or not. This is 17 millimeter wrench here. Now what I do is, because this is coming out anyway, I just hit it like this, so you can cause a little, uh, a little vibration inside, and that makes it loose sometimes, and throw a uh, penetrating oil here, and let it for a little while, I mean when it's too stuck, this one seems to be uh, very stuck. Hit it all around. It's coming out. All right, now just to show here the how noisy this is. Now let's try the new one. This one is much more silence. We're gonna uh, clean this area here. Before I put in the new one. All right, some paper here, 3M. This is 150, 150 grit. All 
Right, the reason why I'm gonna be trying this uh, ABS sensor out right now is because I couldn't take it out before, it was so stuck. I took out the bolt before, the 10 millimeter bolt here, but it did not come out at all. Now that I have the space here without the wheel bearing, I'll be taking it out from here and from here, so it will be a little bit easier. Very stuck. It's very rusty, so this, that's why I couldn't, I couldn't, bring, uh, I couldn't take it out before when the bearing was here. But now, because I pushed it from here, from the inside, this is the new one here. This is the part number. You can adjust these grommets here, you can pull them up and down, up and down. Now I'm gonna be cleaning here, this is a metal brush. Now we're replacing this sensor because there is a bunch of light inside the vehicle and as you can see it's broken. It has a bunch of light in the instrument cluster because of this sensor. It has uh, the traction lights, the ABS, 4x4, I mean a bunch of lights there. have to push the axle inside in order to place the bolts here because the axle is not giving you too much space here I'm doing it with this 17 millimeter bolt and this is 17 millimeter socket with this with this adapter here it makes it so easy now if you want to remove these bolts here these are 21 millimeter bolts I believe so you can remove the the hub assembly from here and push it push it out then you have more space here behind here so but I, I don't want to do that and I don't need to do it either I'm comfortable doing it this way Right. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do the same with this one. I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna clean the grease. I'm not gonna be showing camera because it's the same as this one to make sure that they both uh, work uh, work fine. I'm gonna leave it like that for now and uh, see if I can install it like this. See what happens. 
All right, we're gonna end up replacing the rotor, the brake pad, ABS sensor. First of all, the rotor is all scratched, so uneven, and the vehicle is vibrating a lot when the when the hit when the driver hits the brake pedal. So we're gonna replace everything here. Now, when the this is the situation here, if you have this situation here where this is scratched all over here, now if you replace only the brake pads, uh, you still will have vibration once you hit the brake pedal. The reason is because if you replace either the brake pads or either these ones, only the rotors, then you will have one of them that is already defective. So the problem is not completely solved. So to solve the problem, you have to replace both of them, the brake pads and the rotors in this case. The brand new rotors, they always bring a layer of oil. You have to wipe it off in order for them to be clean before installing the brake pads. I already did on the other side, so I'm going to be showing it only on this side here. Next step, I'm going to be applying anesis grease here so the rim of the tire will not get stuck here. Uh, by the way, these are 14 millimeter bolts. I'm gonna be lubricating here the contact where the brake pads make contact. Just make sure the the brake lubricant does not go inside and make contact with the rotor. And I already cleaned it with spray here, nothing on camera, so now I'm going to lubricate the boot too. When you retract in this piston, and you put in too much force, it's getting too hard to retract uh, back inside, then it's time to either replace it or either rebuild it. You can rebuild it or replace it, but it's not a good thing to have a brake caliper when this piston is getting too hard already to, uh, to retract. It's gonna work now the brake, uh, the brake pads. I like the brake pistons and the brake calipers to be very smoothly to retract. You retract it completely without any effort at all. Alright, this, uh, this is gonna be it, uh, everything is working, the brakes are, very, are working very good in this case, the bolts are retracting, the slide pins are retracting, uh, out, in and out, in and out. Thanks for watching the video and God bless you all.